Hey, Merry Christmas. It's that time of year we call it Advent. I'm here at my house and I'm excited about taking a journey with you if you'd like to come where I'm going to go to different places in our city, Corvallis, where people live, work, learn, and play. And of course, I'm going to start right here at my house. I got my, my bear that welcomes everybody home. Got my Christmas tree right there through the window. And uh, of course, we're right on a highway, so you're going to hear just the real life cars passing by at a fast pace. But I appreciate this season to think about Jesus and what he means to us and the call that God has given us to proclaim him, be a light for him in our city and in our world and in who to whoever God uh, puts in front of us. So if you would like to come on this journey, I just encourage you to, to like this, share it. If it's on YouTube, you can uh, subscribe and uh, it's going to be a good time. What I like to do is, uh, like I said before, take you to places in our city where we live, work, learn and play. And then also um, to take a journey from creation to Christ. In the disciple making movement, we we use discovery Bible studies to uh, bring people into the kingdom by them discovering God's message to them and then for them to obey and share it with others. And what we then do is we bring them through scripture sets. And one of the most popular scripture sets is Creation to Christ, where we go from Genesis 1 through the crucifixion and Jesus' call for people to believe in him and be born again. And so today I'm going to start right at the beginning, Genesis 1, and then we're going to journey through to um, Christ. I'm, uh, the theme is cradle to the crown because the real celebration is that Jesus has come to this world to be the king, to deliver us from the darkness that was here because of our sin and rebellion. And uh, it's a beautiful picture. So I won't be reading the, all of the passages because, that, because of time and then that you can maybe read them with your family or read them on your own. So the first passage is Genesis 1 verse 1 through 25, Genesis 1, 1 through 25. You can pause it now and read it yourself um, or <clears throat> read it with your family. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. I see three things in this passage and maybe you see something else. So maybe you could comment that or share it with the people who are doing this uh, journey with you. Um, I see that God is the creator of all. In the beginning, there was nothing except for God. And he, he spoke it all into being. He is the creator God. He is also the, the, the source of all light. We see this beautiful sun uh, back here. And uh, the sun was created by God. Light itself, independent even of our sun, was created by God. He says, he spoke, let there be light, and there was light. And then in the six days of creation, the first six days of creation, we see that the first three days, he creates three kingdoms, the kingdom of light and darkness, the kingdom of the sky and the expanse, and then the, the land and the seas. And it was in these three kingdoms that then in the next three days, he creates three rulers over those areas. He says that he created the, the sun to rule by day, and the moon to rule by night. And so, and then in the skies, we see that the birds were created to rule over them. And then we see that the animals were called to land and, and then eventually man to rule over uh, the land. And I think that the third thing that I see is that, that God is the creator. He's the source of light, but he's also the king over all the kings of these little kingdoms. And it's a beautiful picture, Genesis 1. Um, and so we turn to Jesus and as we look to Jesus to come and we turn to the Gospels, John 1, 1, there's a little hearkening to this passage where it says, in the beginning was the word, the word was with God, the word was God. And we see that Jesus himself in John 1 is the creator. Nothing was created that he did not create. And he is called the light. He is the light from God. He's the light to the world and we look and find light in Jesus Christ. And ultimately, he is the king. At the end of the gospels, as he comes to his crucifixion, they're proclaiming him. 
the king of the Jews. And he de de declares that and, and he's crowned that. But we will get to that as we follow in on this journey. But would you please uh, pray that this Advent season is a time for us all to be where we live, work, learn, and play, be lights and messages of the goodness of our Messiah, our Christ, our King Jesus, and praise God that He's in our life because God is so good. And Jesus is born, we celebrate and declare it to the world. So please uh, come back tomorrow and the next day uh, and let's, let's share this, like it, or you can follow this on YouTube. Uh, Lord bless you, friend, and thanks for being with us.